In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Let's begin our celebration by first pausing for a while, call to mind all our sins and all our failures, and ask God for forgiveness and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have taught your church to keep all the heavenly commandments by love of you as God and love of neighbor, grant that practicing the works of charity after the example of blessed Saint Rock, we may be worthy to be numbered among the blessed in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Judges. The children of Israel offended the Lord by serving the Baals, abandoning the Lord, the God of their fathers, who led them out of the land of Egypt. They followed the other gods of the various nations around them, and by their worship of these gods provoked the Lord. Because they had thus abandoned him and served Baal and, and the Ashtaroth, the anger of the Lord fl flared up against Israel, and he delivered them over the plunderers who despoiled them. He allowed them to fo fall into the power of their enemies round about whom they were no longer able to withstand. Whatever they under undertook, the Lord turned into disaster for them. As in his warning he had shorn, he would do till they were in great distress. Even when the Lord raised up judges to deliver them from the power of their despoilers, they did not listen to their judges, but abandoned themselves to the worship of other gods. They were quick to stray from the way their fathers had taken and did not follow their example of obedience to the commandments of the Lord. Whenever the Lord raised up judges for them, he would be with the judge and save them from the power of their enemies as long as the judge live. It was thus the Lord took pity on their distressful cries of affliction under their oppressors. But when the judge died, they would relapse and do worse than their ancestors, following other gods in service and worship, relinquishing none of their evil practices or stubborn conduct. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They did not exterminate the peoples as the Lord had commanded them, but mingled with the nations and learned their works. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They served their idols, which became a snare for them. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters of demons. 
Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They became defiled by their works and wanton and their crimes. And the Lord grew angry with his people and abhor his inheritance. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Many times did he rescue them, but they embittered with him with their counsels. Yet he had regard for their affliction when he heard their cry. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Please stand. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. A young man approached Jesus and said, Teacher, what good must I do to gain eternal life? He answered him, Why do you ask me about the good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He asked him, Which ones? And Jesus replied, You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness, honor your father and mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All of these I have observed. What do I still lack? And Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard this statement, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat at welcome sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary. Dahil siguro sa atin, hindi natin kailangan tanungin, dahil siguro sa atin gusto pumunta sa langit. Wala naman taong ayaw pumunta sa langit. Kung lahat talaga, gusto, basta naniniwala sa Diyos, naniniwala sa kabutihan, eh gusto pumunta sa langit. Dahil yun ang end. Yun ang end of our existence. Yun ang kaduluduluhan. Yun ang rukrukan ng ating pag-exist dito sa mundo. So, lahat tayo. Ikaw, ako, lahat ng tao na naniniwala sa Diyos. Gusto pumunta sa langit. Tama-tama siguro ang ating celebration, ang ating uh, readings ngayon. Kasi kahapon, we were talking about the assumption of the Blessed Mother. How, kung paano si Blessed Virgin Mary ay kinuha, inakit sa langit, body and soul. So, siya mismo, ang nanay ng Diyos, nakarating sa langit. And, ang, siyempre, ang lesson nun para sa atin ay sana, sana all, sana tayo rin makarating sa langit kahit hindi man hindi man katulad ng kay Blessed Mother kasi siyempre special privilege yun sa kanya dahil siya ay ina ng Diyos pero sana tayo rin sana lahat tayo makarating sa langit kaya nga itong gospel natin sabi ko nga eh, swak na swak eksaktong eksakto bakit? kasi yung tao dito yung young man nagtanong paano ba ako makakapunta sa paano ko ba makukuha ang eternal life In short, paano ko makakarating sa langit? Paano ko makukuha ang eternal life? Kasi yung eternal life, makukuha mo lang sa langit. Hmm? O at least, ma-fulfill sa langit. So sabi ni, sabi ni Jesus, madali lang. Sabi, fulfill the commandments. Do not kill, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not bear false witness, etc. Maraming mga do not. Yung mga do, hindi do not. Do not. Wag, bawal. Sabi ng young man, nagawa ko na yan. Ayang-kaya ko yan, nagawa ko na nung pa. 
Ano ibig, sabihin, ano ibig sabihin kasi ng mga commandments sa tumadalas dito except for one, yung sa kahuli-hulihan, ano, dalawa. But most of them, and if you, even if you are, review our commandments, na, magmula sa fifth commandment all the way down to the tenth, puro do not. Actually, in second, then do not. No? Thou shall not have strange gods before me. Thou shall not use the name of the Lord in vain. No? Pareho. Um, maraming do not. Ano ibig sabihin? Eh, umiwas ka lang eh. Umiwas ka lang sa mali, okay na. Pero hindi pa okay kasi kulang pa yun. Pero at least yung pang- oh, basic, basic na requirement para makuha yung eternal life, para makarating ka sa langit, iwas sa mali, iwas pusoy, iwas sa mali, iwas sa kapahamakan, iwas sa hindi tama, iwas sa nakakasakit at nakakaargabyado sa iba. Iwas sa mali. E kung hindi ka lang kikilos, hindi ka lang talaga mananakit, hindi ka magtatapak ng ibang tao, makakaiwas ka nga sa mali. No, huwag ka lang, mind, just mind your own business. Makakaiwas ka sa mali. Huwag kang mga agabyado, makakaiwas ka sa mali. Kaya nga sinabi ng mama, ng bata, nagawa ko na yan. O sige, gusto mo pa? Eto. Sumunod dun sa ano eh, sa commandment sa nilis ni Jesus, love your neighbor as yourself. Medyo kakaiba na yun. Love your neighbor as yourself. Ibig sabihin, mag-reach uh, out kasi ibang tao. Mahalin mo ang kapwa mo. Gawin mo sa kanila kung yung gusto mong mangyari sa'yo. Love your neighbor as yourself. Do good to them. Help them. Assist them. Be there for them. Siguro kasama din yun sa sinabi ng tao na ng mama na natupad na niya yun. Naging mabuti na siya sa mga kapwa niya. And finally, sabi ni Jesus, kung talagang gusto mo maging perfect, makarating sa eternal life at maging perfect, ito na ang pinakamahirap. Sell what you have and give to the poor. Sell what you have and give to the poor. Biglang naguluhan yung mama, no? Biglang nag-isip-isip, kaya ko ba ito? Kaya ko ba to sell what you, what you have and give to the poor? Bakit siya nag-isip-isip? And may, ano siya eh, may kaya. May kayamanan siya. Ano siya sabi sa atin? Madaling, guma, madaling gumawa ng mabuti, madaling you know, to, umiwas sa masama. Pero kapag kukuha na tayo sa sarili nating, not only pag-aari eh, kundi sa sarili natin pagkatao, nagiging mas mahirap. Di ba ganoon din sa pagmamahal? Kung pagmamahal, ibig lang sabihin, magbibigay ka ng regalo, igigreet mo pag happy birthday, you say, I love you. Mandali lang. Pero kapag ang pagmamahal ay nagdedemanda ng iyong oras, ang iyong pagkatao na ibigay mo dun sa minamahal mo, eh, humihirap na. At dun talaga matetesting ang tunay na pagmamahal na kaya mo ibigay yung sarili mong pagkatao doon sa taong minamahal mo. Hindi lang yung mga bagay na nauubos. Hindi no? yung from the bottom of your personality, from your beinghood, no? from your being, may bibigay mo sa ibang tao, sa minamahal mo. At yun ang hinihingi ng Diyos. Hinihingi ng Diyos na tayo umiwas sa mali, check. Hinihingi ng Diyos na magmahal tayo ng kapwa, check. Pero hinihingi din ng Diyos na hindi tayo kumapit, na kapit, parang kapit toko sa ating mga possessions. Doon sa mga bagay-bagay, even mga tao na malapit sa atin. Hindi tayo pwedeng kumapit dyan tapos pupunta pa rin tayo sa Diyos kasi they weigh us down, di ba? Para siyang extra baggage. Pwede isama natin sila papunta sa langit, papunta sa Diyos. Pero hindi yung nakakapit ka sa, halimbawa sa, sa palasyo mo, no? Nakakapit ka sa palasyo mo, kung gusto mo pumunta sa Diyos, hindi eh, ka makapunta kasi nakakapit ka sa palasyo mo. Meron, meron humihila sa iyo sa lupa. No? So that the way, the answer to be able to really achieve eternal life is to not to be too attached to, to the things in our possessions, to the people that we love, 
Yes, love them. But don't be attached to them as if, you know, talagang hindi ka pwedeng mabuhay nang wala sila. Na lahat na lang nakasalalay sa kanila. Hindi pwede. Kasi just lang yun. Just lang ang hindi ka pwedeng mabuhay nang wala siya. Diyos lang ang magbibigay sa iyo ng ultimate, pinakamataas na klase ng happiness. Diyos lang ang magbibigay sa atin ng eternal life. Kasi Diyos lang ang eternal life. Diyos lang ang tunay na buhay na walang hanggan. Lahat tulong lang. Dapat tumutulong lang sa atin para maki- maabot natin, ma- ma- makaisa natin ang Diyos. So, magdasal tayo, hinihingi natin ng tulong ng mahal na birhin na sa kanyang sinapupunan naging kaisa ang Diyos. Hilingin natin kay St. Rock, San Roque, na tayo rin ay tulungan para talagang kakapit tayo, talagang kapit natin ay sa Diyos. Hindi sa tao, hindi sa ari-arian, hindi sa kahit ano. Diyos na. Let us all stand now. And let us offer our intentions. Jesus Christ challenges us to exchange the material riches of this world for His eternal wisdom. Our prayers as His people can help us enter His kingdom. After each petition we say, You are our inheritance, O Lord. You are our inheritance, O Lord. That the church may free men and women from materialism and folly. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our inheritance, O Lord. That government leaders may not sacrifice their principles for power, success, and ambition, but commit themselves to promote human dignity and values of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our inheritance, O Lord. That parents and educators may challenge the young to live for things that really matter. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our inheritance, O Lord. That Christians who are rich in possessions and talents may learn to share what they are and have this have with those who have less. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our inheritance, O Lord. That our beloved dead may have the feel of the riches of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our inheritance, O Lord. Let us pray for our own personal intentions and for the special intentions of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. You are, my, you are our inheritance, O Lord. God our Father, grant us courage, joy, trust, and integrity. Make us wise with the wisdom of Jesus who lives with you forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Bless thy Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless thy Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for we are good in the good of all His holy church.
Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people and grant that we who celebrate your son's work of boundless charity may by the example of Blessed Rock be confirmed in love of you and our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Rock and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray now with confidence to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed Lord, be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, we as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead, and lead us, us not into temptation, temptation but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we who are fortified by the power of this sacrament may learn through the example of St. Rock to seek you always above all things and to bear in this world the likeness of the new man. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Brothers and sisters, good morning. The Dominican community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the 
Rosary of Manawa is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses and be one with us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org, and at online pamisa where you will find available online and other option for donation all names of donors and sponsors for novena masses will appear in the electronic souvenir program thank you very much for your continued support god bless you please stand there Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikiisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We, uh, may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we pray for the sick and for your religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your weakness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.